Hi everybody, this is Pat in the paper closet. We're working on the whimsical junk journal. We're going to be decorating some of the pages today. I have some pockets and some tucks and things made. So we're just going to put it all together and decorate. Now I found cleaning out my craft room upstairs. I found a whole box of charms that I had made. I used on planners. So I'm going to start using some of them. I picked out some papers. I think this will be a good border paper for the edges of the page. And then I made some word strips, just some paper strips we can use here and there. Now another pattern that's good. This is the one we used on the cover. So we're just going to play around, decorate the pages. Not too many. We're not going to do the whole book. So the video will probably be about 15 minutes. Okay, so let's get started. Here's the cover. This is the inside page. I don't want to put anything on that. Maybe when I'm finished, I'll do a sort of a title page. A few words. So this is the inside page. Now this I found in my stash. This is from when I used to make mini albums. This was the flap to an envelope. So I'm gonna use that as a side tuck. And then this is the expandable pocket that we made. I'm not gonna do anything with that, but I did find, where'd it go? Um, oh, this charm I'm gonna put on here. This was one I had made. It says, today is your next yesterday, so remember to create a memory. That's a good spot right in the front of the book. I also found this one, an ice cream sundae. That'll go well in the whimsical journal. So this page, I'm not gonna do anything on this side. I'm only gonna glue down this side tuck and the charm. Let me get my glue. Sorry, I forgot it. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I found it. <clears throat> so all I'm going to do is glue this side down and the two ends so that this is open. So we'll put some glue on there. Hopefully my glue is going to work. Mm, not yet. Alright, let me unclog it. Not a good way to start. Very warm out. I turned off the air conditioner because it's too noisy. And I had the fan on low. But it's not doing much good. So it's getting a little warm. Like I said, I got... I was upstairs in my craft room, which I'm not using right now. When we had new windows put in, oh, my paper clip rusted, but that's okay. Can't see it. When we redid the windows upstairs, we had no windows put in, but the old air conditioner doesn't fit in the window. So now I have to work on getting an air conditioner. Can't be up there without an air conditioner. <laughs> Way too hot. So I'm down here in my kitchen. Still. Okay, that's our side tuck. Get the glue to stick. That looks well. I think we just put tags in here or journal cards. Someone's texting me. You'll get a kick out of that. <laughs> Tags, journal cards, whatever can fit in that tuck. I'm gonna glue on this charm. Now, I'm not gonna make it dangle because it would just flop all over the place. I'm just gonna glue it down. I'm gonna put a little glue on the back. This is my Elmer's glue. Elmer's all-purpose. That's what I use. 
Okay. Uh, where do I want it? Right about here. Oh, that's straight. I'm gonna hold that down for a few seconds. There's something to wipe up the glue. I hope you're having a good day. Hope it's not too warm where you are. It's been hot and humid here. Although it's not as bad here on the island as it is in the city. But not enough. They're saying it's a heat wave. Okay. I'm gonna leave that alone and let it dry. That glue will dry clear so we won't see it. Now this one I'm not going to add anything. I may later on do some stamping in the corners, but we'll do that last. Okay, let's turn this page. Now this page, I don't want to put anything on here either. I'm just going to put this little word sign that I made. So you made my day. And this side I'm going to leave alone. Um, put a tuck or something on that, but not right now. Oh my goodness. Put some glue around the back. Not a lot, it's paper, it's copy paper. I'm just gonna put it up here in the corner. Just a little something extra. You made my day. Little birdies. I'm gonna leave that for a journal. No, I'm not. This page I was gonna make a flip out. So I need a piece. Oh, here it is. I cut this strip out. I'm gonna use this as my hinge. So I'm gonna fold it. Let's see. I want this side to show. So I'm gonna fold it mountain. With the fold popping up. Just in half. It's about a half an inch wide. So that'll work as a hinge for the page to open back and forth. Okay, I'm gonna give that a good crease. I'm gonna put glue on one side. Now the fold is on the left. Let's put in some glue over it. Not too much, like I said, this is copy paper I'm working with. I don't want to saturate it. Okay. Now I want this page to go like this, so I'm going to lay down my hinge and put this page on top. Lining it up with the fold on the left. Not right up to the fold we want it. Good. Press it down. Shifting a little bit. The glue makes it slide around. Okay, that's good. It puckered a little, but when the glue dries, it will flatten out. Open this up carefully. Flatten out our back part. And you see what I did? I put it on backwards. I wanted the print the pattern to be on this side. Let's see, so we start this one. we could do it this way. No, then we have this on the outside. Wait, let me think. Put it like this. Now I'll go with this way. Doesn't matter. I can cover that up with something if I want. It looks too bad. I'm going to put some glue on this side of the hinge. Don't do it as I do. Do, do as I say. Don't put it on backwards like me. The pattern should have been facing the opposite way. Okay. Now we're going to lay this down on the edge of the page. Right up to the edge. it up and see where it's at here. You have a minute to slide it back and forth while the glue's not dry yet. 
Okay, that's good. It's not sticking out. Okay, I'll open it up and press it down. There we go. Okay, so we have a little bit more room on this page now. There's our flip. Page flip. Very good. Okay, now on this side I have this pocket. Get these tags out of the way. Uh, what was I gonna do with this? I cut this out. I think I'm gonna put it over here. Let's put the pocket on first. It's all cut, folded, ready to go. I'm just gonna put some glue on all three sides. Folds. Okay, that's good. I'm going to put it probably a quarter of an inch from the bottom. I want it all the way down. I'll press down the three sides that you glued. Get the glue to catch. Especially in those corners. Now I picked out, put everything off. Oh, here it is. This I'm going to put on here. A little cluster I made with a label on it. Just a little glue, not a lot. Again, it's copy paper. I don't cut too much out of cardstock, only if I know I'm going to be making a pocket or a tuck. Usually I cut out of, I print on copy paper. Okay, that looks good there. Glue it down. Now I have these flowers that I need, I don't know if they go on here. Maybe I'll just put the white one. <coughs> this one's glittered and has glossy accents on it. A little too shiny, I think. So I'll save that. Maybe I'll put that one on. Just gonna glue the middle. Press it down right here. Give it a minute to catch. Okay. Now this little cutout that I did, I'm going to put it on the bottom of this flip page. Just flip out. I fold it a little crooked. There we go. A little bit of glue. Not saturating it. That looks like running whimsical. Okay, I think that's good for that. I don't want to put anything more on there. I have the tag. I haven't finished all my tags yet, so this tag will go in here. I'm going to not cover up the dog, just everything else, top and bottom. So that'll be cute. We'll finish off the tags in another video. Oh no, I glued the top of my label the page. I get it up but I'm okay. Got it. I'm gonna put something under there so it won't, doesn't stick. What have I got? Something. A charm. This flower has a uh, just to hold it up till it dries. Okay, also again on this page I might just doodle or stamp something. I have these borders I was thinking of using also. But I'm going to put a border over the pocket. So we'll save that for another page. This page I'm going to leave as is. 
Here's another pocket that's finished. It has two cards in it. We'll put something up here later on. I have some word labels, numbers. So we'll finish that up later. I just want to get through these pockets. This pocket has one of our house tags on it, the whimsical houses that we made. And here's a little ladybug I made. I have a video on how to make these charms. They're cardstock charms. They're five layers, all glued together, so it makes them nice and hard. I think I'm just going to glue this in the corner. It is decorated on both sides, so it's a charm, but it'll stick. Okay, I'll put that right here. Let that stick a minute. This pocket I had made a little edge for it, a scalloped edge. That's a little whimsical. Blank page. You need blind pages. Okay, this one I made a little, I don't know, a unique pocket, I'll call it. And I have this little graphic I'm going to put on here. That's a little whimsical. She's standing on her head. And I'll make this a corner tuck. So I'll glue along this edge and along the bottom, and that'll be it. We can tuck a tag or a journal card, writing paper, anything in there. Just gluing those two edges, putting it in the corner. Not all the way to the fold or the bottom, about an eighth of an inch away. So this is the side with the glue and this side has glue. Now we could put anything in there. It just tucks it to there. In a corner pocket. Okay, let's put this on. Not too much glue. Sorry to hear me say that, I know. But when you're using copy paper, you don't want to saturate it. It gets all wonky. I'm going to put it right there. dry. This, I was going to make a top tuck. And I had this little scallop from probably another mini album that I made. So I think I'll put them both up here. Yeah. So I'm just going to glue this edge. Should be enough to make it a top tuck. Okay, let me get to the top of the page. Right in the middle. And along the top. Pushing down the glue, which is on this side. something under there. Uh, glue's not dry, so don't do what I'm doing. But once it's dry, it will hold something up there. And I put this on top just to give it a little color. Not too much glue. Of this on this piece. It just adds a little color. Okay, it's good. Okay, so we have that part. This was a bottom tuck I had made out of embossed paper. And it's 
put one of our little whimsical houses in there. This is a smaller page I added. I did scalloping on. And a whimsical shape to it. This page I'm going to leave as is. Here's another bottom pocket or tuck with two of those houses on it, those tags. This one was a house, I made a corner tuck out of it. And this could be a tag. Let's cut off the top in the shape of a tag. And they come back and decorate this. But that gives us okay for journaling. So that's a good tag right there. This is a white, I mean a black post-it note that I can write on with a white gel pen. And that's good for that page. These pages I'm not putting anything on right now. This one I'm going to leave blank for journaling. I think I'll leave this page alone. More journaling. And I have this little flap. What should I put on this little flap? Hmm. I'm going to put anything right now. I may find a piece of journaling paper. I just put it in the center for journaling. Same on the back. I still have my little charm to use. This page I'm going to leave as is. It says I am. And here's the center of the book. Don't think I'll put anything on there either. I like that graphic. And I think that's all the pockets I have right now. I do want to see if I cut a piece of this edging how it'll look on the page. Now, let's see. I don't want to put it on a pocket page. The color does not go well on this page. Let's see. I'll cut out this blue and orange part. Let's try that. I should have gotten out my paper trimmer, but I didn't. So bear with me while I cut this out. What about this one? This one, right here. Trying to cut it straight. the bottom of the arm. Okay. I'm going to trim this side off a little bit. Yeah, that's straighter. <coughs> I was thinking of putting it right on this edge. I think that looks good. This way or this way? Hmm. I think I'll put it this way. Yeah, I like that. Okay, it's about an inch wide. I'm just going to put the glue on the page. Not too much. Again. It's about an inch wide. I'm not squeezing the glue, the glue very much here. I'm not squeezing the bottom. I'm just a little bit and then I'm spreading it. I don't want too much blue. Okay, now I want the blue on the outside. I'll line it up at the bottom and the side. Take it all the way up. And I'm gonna pick up the page to make sure I'm on the edge. So, yeah. Slide it in a little bit. I want to see it on this side. Okay, that's good. I'm just going to press it down a little bit. This is 
copy paper on copy paper, so it will stick. No problem with that. I'm going to trim off this edge. And there we go. That looks very good. I like it. It goes with the colors. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop there. We got to the center of the book, so we know where to start next time. And we'll finish adding pockets and decorating. I don't think I have any pockets cut out here. So now it's a page. No, so I'll make some more pockets. But we do have this. Oh, that was the uh, pocket flip or the side tuck that we made. And there's the side tuck. No, I don't have any other pockets in here. Some photo flaps. <coughs> okay, so I'll make some more pockets. And we'll finish decorating the second half of the book. And that'll be good. Then we'll just add some stamping and some words. Okay, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It'll help me get more viewers. And if you hit the subscribe button and the bell, and then hit all, you'll be notified when the next video is up. I'm going to be adding more pockets and things. Okay, thank you for coming. I'll see you soon. Bye.